Good day. The said television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast on the question of the Armenians of Western Armenia, the sons of Western Armenia. Lavrov stated that Armenia would have a more stable situation if CSTO observers were stationed. The representative of France highly appreciated the trajectory of Armenian cultural heritage in the context of world cultural heritage. On May 17, 1992, the Artsakh Defense Army liberated the city of Berzor, thus connecting the Kashatakh region with the Goris region. Musician from Shushi, on the occasion of the International Day of Museums, a number of events will be organized in Artsakh. On March 27 and 28, and then April 28, 1984, the Armenian Secret Liberation Army carried out a series of military operations against Turkish diplomats in Tehran. As one of the biggest beneficiaries of the eight-year Iran-Iraq war, the Turkish government sent one economic and political delegation after another to Iran to sign new agreements. Turgut Özal, then Prime Minister of the Turkish government, was scheduled to visit Tehran on April 28, a few days after the anniversary of the genocide against Armenians. At the head of the 400-member delegation, Asala announced that it would not remain silent and would give a historic response to this step. The events that followed provoked the seriousness of Asala's threat. Ishik Onder, a high-ranking official of the Turkish Secret Services, was shot dead in the central street of Tehran on his way to the embassy with his wife, Sadie Onder, in a Mercedes car at the time of Ozal's arrival. In March 1984, the hero Surengri Gorian was martyred in the operations carried out in Tehran. On March 29, 1984, the American newspaper New York Times wrote the following. The Turkish embassy in Tehran said today that Armenian militants had targeted two Turkish diplomats in a series of attacks. The Armenian attacks began on Tuesday with a bomb planted in the car of a Turkish diplomat. Ambassador Ismet Kersel said a telephone interview. The bomb exploded prematurely, killing the attacker. In another attack, deputy military attaché Ismail Pamukchu was seriously wounded in the head as he checked his vehicle in front of his home. The ambassador said two gunmen opened fire on him. At the same time, the embassy chief clerk Hassan Servet Oktem was targeted by two gunmen as he left his home for work. Ambassador Birsel added that in the evening of the same day, Iranian police arrested two armed Armenians outside the home of another Turkish diplomat, as well as five other people in the vicinity of the embassy. Abraham Tovmasian joined Asala in the early 1980s. After receiving training at the organization's military base, he was particularly active in Europe in 1980. On January 22, 1983, he carried out the shopping Garahisar operation, a group attack on the headquarters of the Turkish Air Force Company in Paris, for which he was convicted. In 1985, he returned to Lebanon and continued his struggle within the framework of the Lebanese branch of the Armenian People's Movement. On September 10, 2020, he died in Beirut as a result of a traffic accident. Asala's message on this matter is as follows. Comrade Abraham Tovmasian was humble, always ready to fulfill the most difficult tasks assigned to him with selfless devotion. According to Armen Press, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov made a statement in an interview with Targrad TV channel, which was published on a website of the Russian Foreign Ministry. Ahead of the CSTO summit held in Yerevan in the fall of 2022, a document was prepared on deploying an observation mission of the Collective Security Treaty Organization on the territory of Armenia, in accordance with the request of our Armenian allies. The document was fully agreed at the level of foreign ministers. Then, at the last moment, right at the summit, the Armenian friends asked to postpone its adoption. To date, it is on paper and not implemented, but if Yerevan confirms what has already been agreed and is ready for signing its intri into force, I am sure that Armenia would benefit and get a more stable situation, Lavrov said. The government of Western Armenia reminds that Russia recognized the independence of Western Armenia in December 1917 with the decree adopted by Lenin, which is included in the first constitution of Russia today. We fully hope that the Russian Federation respects the points of its own constitution and treats Eastern Armenia as an independent entity and sees its relation with Eastern Armenia within the framework of the partnership of two independent states, in accordance with the signed and valid interstate agreements. The agreement signed between the CSTO member states is one of those agreements. 
On May 10 and 11, a regular meeting of the Management Board of the Council of Europe's Enlarged Partial Agreement of Cultural Pass was held in the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. According to the press release, the meeting was attended by the head of the Department of Cultural Heritage and Folk Crafts of the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, Astrik Marabian. Since 2015, Armenia has been a full member of the Cultural Pass Extended Agreement. One of the key issues on the agenda of the meeting was the document on the mapping of the cultural pass of the member countries, including the mapping of the cultural pass of Armenia, which was anonymously approved. The document outlines the cultural potential of Armenia within the framework of the cultural channels of the Council of Europe, the perspectives of involvement and the possibilities of cooperation. Within the framework of the discussion of the document mapping the cultural pass of Armenia, the representative of France made a special speech, highly evaluating the trajectory of the Armenian cultural heritage in the context of the World Cultural Heritage, offering to consider the possibility of initiating an Armenian Cultural Heritage Pass. The Cultural Pass program was launched by the Council of Europe in 1987. The aim of the project is to create a platform for cultural dialogue, contributing to the preservation and progress of natural and cultural heritage as the most important factor of sustainable cultural and social development. The opening of the Berzor Humanitarian Corridor on 17-18 May 1992 was a military operation carried out by the Armenian forces against the Azerbaijani armed forces during the Artsakh Liberation War. This military operation is considered one of the seminal operations of the Artsakh War due to its strategic importance, as it provided a land link between the Bertazor sub-district of the Shushi region of the Republic of Artsakh and the Goris region of the Republic of Armenia. The shelling of a number of Armenian settlements was stop and the Azerbaijani army lost its strategic aids and the link between the northern and southern units. Early in the morning of May 18, Armenian forces entered the city of Berzor, then called Lachin, and took control of the entire territory of the settlement. After that, the entire Gori Stepanakert Highway came under the control of the Armenian forces. On the same day, the land connection with the Republic of Armenia was organized through a temporary bridge built over the Agavno River, as the main bridge was blown up by Azerbaijani troops. The destroyed bridge is restored on May 19. It should be noticed that the north-central part of the Kashatak region of the Artsakh Republic has an ancient and rich history. As evidenced by the ancient monument found in the region, this part of the region consisting of Berzor has been inhabited since ancient times. This region corresponds to the Sunnic province of Greater Haik, which existed in the 4th to 5th centuries BC. The government of Western Armenia proudly states that the Artsakh liberation movement has been able to unite the forces of all Armenians around Boros Nubar's idea of the continuity of the Armenian state recognized by more than 20 states. This Armenian state who took its final formulation in Shushin in 2004 through the efforts of one of the leaders of the Artsakh Liberation War, Special Forces Instructor and President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian. And why in Shushi? We think it is obvious because it was the first liberated region of the confiscated territories of the Armenian state and it was necessary to start the liberation of our confiscated territories. Even now, this issue is topical and on our agenda. According to Armen Press, Hakob Srapian writes, Today, the ancient Armenian fortress city of Shushi, which is in captivity, which was once awarded the title of Conservatory of Transcaucasia, lived a cultural life, gave our people famous children, writers, famous soldiers, historians, musicians. Among the later, the famous composer, public figure, group leader, singer, and pedagogue honored artist Daniel Hazarian. Many of his songs still enchant music lovers today. One of the grateful works of the composer was the organization of a four-part singing group and an orchestra for the blind. The result of his devoted work in the development of self-made choral art was the creation of the four-part capella of the Yerevan Teacher's House, which performed with great success in Moscow in 1945 at the All-Union Olympiad of Self-Made Choirs. The merit of Daniel Hazarian was highly appreciated by the famous composer Romanos Melikian and other devotees of the music world. On May 18 and 20, a number of events are planned in Artsakh within the framework of International Day of Museums and Nights of Museums. As informed by the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Artsakh within the framework of the International Day of Museums, on May 18 at 12 o'clock, an exhibition entitled The Mystery of Artsakh Carpet is planned in the Artsakh State Historical and Geological Museum. On the same day, at 7 o'clock, an exhibition of the new collection of the Shushi State Museum of Fine Arts will take 
take place in Stepanaget. On May 20 at 3 o'clock, a carpet-making class will be held. A lecture on the problem of preservation of museum values during disasters by the Geological Museum of Kashatag region, a concert performed by the Artsakh State Choir, a lecture on historical architectural monuments of Artsakh, a lecture on Armenian cross stones as witness of four identity. An exhibition with different themes are also planned. The government of Western Armenia extends its support to the natives of Artsakh, who being in a difficult situation these days continue to fight and spread their culture. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. Hey, Ma chaire run hui si oro tskororvei.